or doing the uh, the, 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 the legging. I think I'm going to go with the, the waist, adding a few things that might be uh, missing. It was a placeholder. Okay. So since I want to just move them around without, like, one at a time, I'm just going to activate, uh, oh, where did I put it? <laughs> Where's my shortcut? I move things around a little bit. Oh, topological. There you go. Topological range to the max. So this just helps me, like, move one at a time like this. And, uh, yeah, I just want to... Get a bit of a chaos in there. Um, actually, some are even going to completely disappear. Eventually, I'll replace those with something more detailed. Good. I really want to get the uh, the proper uh, alignment right away, so that when I place the uh, the high res, uh, we're, we're we're pretty much done with that. I don't know if I'm going to need more than four rows for this. Maybe the spacing is a bit. Uh, So 
something like that. I think that should be good. All right. So for those plates here, I'm just gonna first place a strap. Let's use the uh, the border of that armor to make sure the strap is uh, somewhat uh, straight. There you go. Split it into its own sub tool. Same color, same material. The straps, like, I, I could so easily resolve that problem, but I never uh, get to it. But those straps come with, like, the X on the side here. Uh, those are the one by default. But uh, often what I do is I just uh, take this part and I do a, a panel loop to get, like, a... Also, I can... I can choose the, the depth at this point here. And then I can have... Uh, this here. Um, often, what I do is, uh, like, I don't know if you can see, but the the um, the the arm, the upper arms, always place somewhat uh, like symmetrically on the axis of uh, Z, uh, so that I can actually have the um, the shoulder pads work in symmetry. Uh, same goes with the leg. I always try to have like a part of like that leg. Um, symmetrical in the Z axis. So like this way I can actually just uh, go in uh, Z symmetry here and uh, just do a mirror and weld. And then I have it symmetrical like this. So yeah, there's a bit of a cleanup to do here because the uh, angle was not uh, perfect, but uh, Morbidity. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Doing, uh, doing better. I hope you are doing good as well. All right, that should be good for the uh, for the general shape and angle. Um, am I going to go with like a crazy shape for this thing? Mm, maybe get like a bit of a like a bevel thing. It's a bit more interesting with something like something like that. All right.
Let's have like a little belt crossing around here as well. Oops, uh, not in symmetry though. Okay, this is <laughs> ridiculous. Okay, so to actually have the belt um, go straight, I'm just gonna model it over another subtool that is not as chaotic. If I just follow, oops, it's still a bit, still bad. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Let's not even. Oh, thanks for the follow. Let's not even go go complex. Let's just place it here. Separate it into its own thing. And then I can actually just place it by hand like this. There's also going to be uh, some kind of like leather protection under it as well. Kind of like a, the goal is to have like a mishmash of armors on this character. Uh, for one, it's uh, interesting visually, but kind of like uh, that kind of chaos. Um, but uh, also it's part of the, the backstory of the character. If there was a shameless plug, do you mean the fact that I said that I work with chaos? Yeah, doing well in the RFX. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, it was not a, it was not a plug. It was merely um, a demonstration of the reason why we called our company Chaos Masons. I think I'm gonna have the first one on top just being a little bit bigger. Exactly. Frogman, hey, Rat Lord. How's it going? Yep. Yeah. I'm all about the frogs right now. Rats and frogs. Oops. Okay, ah, my focal shift was... Uh, Wow, I kind of like destroyed that piece over here, eh? Jeez. Eh, whatever, I'll build it back soon enough. Oh. 
Thank you for burning the night oil, but I love watching the stream too much. Hey, that's cool. Nice to hear. Uh, what's your OPS on Nomad's Gulp? I have no idea. I did not try that. Uh, I'd love to see what Pro Chaos can do on Nomad's Gulp. Yeah, sorry. I haven't tried. Uh, it's going well. Crying because I just moved and left the screws on my Ergo stand. <laughs> Yeah, you're just that close, that close to have it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that sucks if you actually lost those screws, eh?
Uh, so it's similar to ZBrush, but on iPad, not as complete as ZBrush. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I have, tr I, from what I heard or tried about like any other sculpting software, it's pretty hard to get something that um, is as performant as a ZBrush. Uh, so uh, I haven't really, um, I haven't tried everything. But uh, I'm extremely picky with like the way that things respond and stuff. I mean, I'm. I found my software uh, with ZBrush, so um, kind of hard to to go to something else. Like it would need to be like really, really something new and um, absolutely innovative for me to um, to kind of like go over like relearning everything. People don't realize, but I'm starting to become an old man. Not closed, not closed off to to the new technologies, but all right. Now let's do the other the other side. So we have those protections here. We have those things starting to have a lot of agreeable and whatever. Maybe give more silhouette with that. Um, and yeah, the other part is going to be another type of armor. Um, and I'll add the little pouch right now, a little bag. Thanks for the follow. Come on, Jesus Christ. No. So this little pouch actually is a reference to this little pouch here. So there, I'm actually going to give it that little like purple, uh, purplish taint. Very subtle though. There we go. There you go, there you go. So yeah, for people who uh, who actually want to listen, same thing that I'm listening to right now. I'm on Spotify, and uh, I think I've it's like the same thing. I've been listening for like two, three podcasts in a row now. It's um the uh, the soundtrack for um, Near Automata. All right, let's try something here to do those wrinkles. Let's use my good old uh, cloth hook. Let's see if I can do <laughs> so. I can do something. Let's mask like this portion here. Reduce by a lot. Nah, it's the the poly count is not big enough. Let's okay. Well, you know what? Let's. Let's just add the little, uh, okay, I'm gonna, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try something. I have no idea if, it, if this is gonna work. Okay, let's try something. So let's uh, Z remesh this to pretty low. Oh, and it should be low enough. Now let's subdivide this. All right, let's try. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work, but if it works, it's like, a, it's gonna be something so lazy. But if it works, woo. Okay, um, one subdivision higher. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I have it. I think it's doing it. <laughs> wow, I think it's doing it. See, that... Okay, so it's not, like, the best, but that tool can do some pretty cool stuff, seriously. You see, and now I just have to bend the, the top part. And I pretty much have, like... I pretty much have the, the shape of the... <laughs> I, just, like, I, I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. You see? Okay, and, and it's not perfect. I need to fix some stuff, but I mean, come on. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. If it's the only cool thing that I do in that in that podcast, I'm gonna call this episode the pouch pot the uh, wow podcast. I mean stream. I'm gonna call that the pouch stream. The pouch episode. The pouch episode. See, it's kind of like it's pretty decent what it did. Aren't you impressed? All right. Yeah, and the experiment was a success on top of that. So, uh, there we go. Just for you. Just for you. Let's give it a twist. Maybe it's too high. I could have even tried to just like move it with the uh, the same I think it would be like stretching it though no pun intended I just need to kind of like give like the impression that it's twisted on itself Hmm. The part is a little bit uh a little bit harder to uh to simulate though. Yeah, that cloth uh, option, ZBrush, um, <sighs> I like it. It's, um, I find it's very, it's very good for something that is like so quick to use. Uh, Let's add a little, uh... there's still some modifications to do. This is not complete. Just want to add a little ring. Oh, I lost my, uh, oh, I never recorded it. Damn. 
the fuck's happening? Oh, okay, I duplicated that by accident, okay. There we go. It's going to be enough to simulate that it's a little knot. Yep, that should be enough. All right. Okay, now we just have to clean this. I'm gonna get a bit of my selection back and I'm going to just move manually a few things to, um, let's use a smooth, smooth directional. And uh, use uh, move, I mean move topological with a range of two. And this is gonna help me to move the folds one at, one at a time. And just get a, a better like, um, there we go. Technically, since I'm actually not really caring about the, the backside, I just have to fix like this part. Also, this part is, uh, like pretty much hidden by here. So I just don't really need to put that much work in here. Here, let's just get rid of all the frequency. Just keep a bit of the folds like this. There we go. Okay, Zoo. Nice to see you. Hey there, Marco. Hey, Talden. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, I, all day, all day, I've, uh, not all day, all week, I've been working on uh, studying a new method for rendering. And uh, oh boy, is it taking time. But uh, it looks promising. It's just, uh, it's really complicated to learn something new. And uh, we'll see. I'm uh, actually re-rendering the, uh, the Four Horsemen. I was never super happy of the, um, of the results, to be honest, uh, for the renders. And so I'm uh, actually, uh, working to see if I can get something uh, better. Cedric is showing me his new technique. I think he's actually going to do a tutorial about this uh, rendering technique. So, um, like, and t like, to be honest, like I, I, I think it's like coming out like this week or next week, the tutorial. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Cause, uh, that's going to be pretty interesting. Actually, um, and by stay tuned, I mean if you go at uh, the link at the bottom here, Chaos Mason's link, you can follow us on all the platforms, and uh, he's going to probably, like, it's going to come out probably on our Chaos Mason store, uh, or um, on the, um, on the any, like, Gumroad thing or whatever. Um, yeah, if you just go on, on this, on the website, you'll actually, oh, thanks for the follow. You'll actually have uh, access to like uh, all of those um, different social medias, right? Uh, website, Discord, 
store, the Gumroad Art Station, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and uh, each individual links for me or Cedric. And um, so, yeah, if you go on our website, um, shop, we've got, as usual, a whole bunch of things. We've got collectibles. we got uh, more collectibles, uh, the tutorials. And like I said, there's going to be a new one here soon, uh, SDLs as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that because uh, it's actually, I think it's going to be a really interesting one. And I'm not, uh, I'm not just saying that, uh, the thing I'm learning, I'm learning the technique right now. And, um, yeah, it looks uh, really promising. So we will see. Anyways, so we got our little pouch right there. Cute little pouch. So, uh, yeah, no, um, good to know you'll pick it up. And, um, yeah, I want to redo the, um, the renders for the, the four horsemen and get something, um, more, uh, alive. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. And then I'll, of course, I'll do the, the renders for, uh, for the, for, for the, the archangels afterwards. I'm just testing the technique with the horsemen since I already have like a reference of render and I'll replicate. Yeah. I'll replicate the, the technique with uh, the four horsemen afterwards. Uh, sorry, the archangels. And then it will be on to the next uh, personal project. Looking forward for that. So you see, that was cool. A little pouch there. Did it pretty much automatically with like that uh, cloth tool. So yeah. Let's uh, save that file and let's work on the, the armor here. So uh, once again, let's just duplicate this, mirror it on the other side. And the reason why I mirror this piece is because I know it's already placed symmetrically correctly. Um, there's a, co a couple of like configurations on it already that I, that I want to keep. So it's just, um, since it's already placed in a good config configuration, I like to start from that. Like, and since it's a blocking, I can pretty much start from any shape I want. So this one offers me a couple of uh, shortcuts and whatnot. I should not have placed the uh 
is going to be an interesting shape. Um, the little plane change here, I'm, I don't know. I tried it, but after all, I don't feel it. Let's just keep it a bit more simple. Yeah, I want that fall off spike, that's for sure. Okay. Is that the shape that I want? Kind of. All right, let's go with that. I think I should be fine. Let's add thickness to that. Uh, it might be too thick. Those uh, medieval plates are often much uh, thinner. So uh, let's uh, stay relatively ac accurate. So there's like going to be another plate right on there. Um yeah, let's make let's make it a different plate actually. Uh, what are you making? Why are you making it? Jeez, the exist existential uh, questions, eh? <laughs> Why am I making it? Um, mostly to feel happy in my life, I would say. Because uh, it's an hobby that I love. <laughs> Does that answer your question? To answer your question in a more serious way, uh, this is just for fun. This is just a, a project that has no real purpose, and it's just for me to have a reason to come on Twitch and to work on uh, to work on something. As simple as that. But with everything that I do, sometimes meanings or reasons come after. So uh, I will let myself be guided. Hey, thanks for the follow.
thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. I take it that my answer was satisfying enough. <laughs> All right, let's uh, add the, uh, now that we have those parts, let's just add like the proper uh, smoothing level for each. Smoothing amount. I'm starting to realize that I, that those, that the chain mail should probably be under those uh, leather things. Feels better like that. All right, let's put a smoothing, some crease. Let's change the crease angle. Yeah, there we go. There we go, that's good. Huh, what's happening here? Huh. Okay, then let's add some curve to this mesh. Uh, checked out your website and all your credentials. Your legit art is very impressed. Eh, thank you. Much appreciated. So if you give it some curve, it just becomes a little bit more dynamic. It's gonna be better like this. I don't know if I actually have the right thickness though. I might actually have to add a little bit, but uh, so far so good. There we go. I see that little curve here, it's going to be a bit more interesting. There you go. Although I did kind of like uh, warped the shape of the armor here. So um, when I'm going to go back into polishing this piece, I'm kind of like have to um, clean that out. For the moment, 
So we're just placing those pieces here, getting finding the silhouette and whatnot. Uh, that should be all right, like this. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so there's going to be like a couple of like patches and everything on its pants, but that I'm going to do while I'm going to place the uh, the actual uh, the, uh, the actual high res. All right, so we just have the uh, the. Uh, what do you call them? Greaves. There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. It's just the Greaves, and then we can uh, pose the character, I guess. Let's save this. All right. So yeah, I'm using a lot of the um, the armors from um, from uh, Elden Ring as reference, since uh, it's kind of like a wink to uh, Elden Ring anyway. So when you see me look on the uh, on the screen, it's uh, because I have uh, Elden Ring references. Yeah, there we go. It was a bit too um too straight. It's much better. Okay. Save again. I'm going to duplicate this and use it to make the uh, hmm. it did not duplicate. Yeah. <laughs> 
So the the um, the knee is not straight to the camera, but uh, just to find the shape, I'm gonna make as if it is. And then I'm gonna place it. I might actually get rid of the pants during that time because I don't wanna actually have the influence of uh, the shape of the pants for the, the shape of the knee. Uh, but, uh, what you're doing, okay, looks for... Uh, yeah, well, 3D art is pretty complex, but um, I, I, I wouldn't say that 3D art is uh, more complex than 2D art. Um, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. I'm better in 3D than in 2D, but uh, no, it's just a different thing. Uh, some work. I absolutely love your interpretation of the concept. Is there a particular reason why your character is posed this way, not in a classic A pose? Because uh, I find that classics A, po a, a pose are uh, deprived of emotion, absolutely deprived of emotion. This way, it's it's kind of not still not natural, but it's much more like relaxed. So to have the symmetry, I use uh, local symmetry, not local symmetry, but uh, oh yeah, local symmetry, since it's a uh, offset to the center, but I still want to have my symmetry. This is ZBrush, correct. So for example, if for people that know um, Elden Ring, uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm using a reference of the fingerprint armor.
Thanks for the follow. Beta to Lord, hello, hello. Yes, Mr. Frog defeated Vike. <laughs> I see that you know your things. Now the question is, is that what is the uh, starter, is starter armor? Is it the um, Vikes armor or is it like one of the Paladin armor? Because uh, the idea is that one of these pieces of armor would be the thing that he started with. And uh, other pieces are like things that he um, acquired along the way. So maybe like he was kind of like the uh, fingerprint uh, knight, whatever, <laughs> from the frenzied flame at the beginning and then became something else. But I like to just reuse the idea. Maybe he was more like a closer to noble. Uh, and the, and then he fell, and that's when his armor became less uh, not that his armor became something, but that like he had to find new armor, and he found the armor that wasn't maybe not at this of the same level of prestige, plus any armor that has that's elegant on him will be. Um, I'm weathered when I'm done when I'm done with this. All right. Am I going to go more complex than that? I think I'm just going to leave myself like a little note as like a reminder to kind of like add little clips in some areas. 
Let's just find like a something that looks like a little clip already. It's probably like an IMM somewhere. I'm crazy. Am I crazy or is that glove hyper detailed compared to the rest? Uh, yeah, just, well, during one of the stream, I actually uh, did um, um, polish the, the glove just to show a little bit of like where, where I would be going with that. So this is going to be kind of like a a reminder to not forget about placing those clips eventually when I'm going to do the high res. Uh, using the fact that I have polygroups to really rapidly clean this piece. It's always a, a good little thing to have. Let's place, place a morph target on that so I can replace it in orthographic view later. And let's just make sure that it looks comfy on his knee now. Maybe I'm going to need to put it a little bit bigger as well. Uh, let's place the pants back. I am now listening to 
the soundtrack of El- no, the soundtrack of Elden Ring. It's not available on Spotify, but at least the main title is available. So I got this on on loop right now. And when I get bored, I'll probably gonna put Skyrim soundtrack. Am I using Polish by Group feature for the rapid cleaning? Yes, absolutely. Either a Polish by Group or Polish uh, by uh, Crisp Edge, which is basically just instead of using the poly groups, it's using uh, the creases. Because uh, sometimes I will um, change my like my my creases and my poly group won't be the same that's what i'm trying to get at Oh, should be good enough. Let's save. So yeah, we're uh, starting to get close to the uh, close to the end of the blocking. Uh, slowly but surely. So for this one is going to be hard to uh, place it in symmetry because it's uh, the entire leg is not orthographic. So uh,
And it feels good to uh, to do treaty again. I think it's been like a... M oh my god, it's been so long. Hey, thanks for the sub. Alex Susama. It's really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's very appreciated. Yeah, it feels so good to, uh, to start doing treaty again because uh, I was... Um, I went one week I went to a wedding and then the next I had a business trip and then the other one I was sick and working on something else. Yeah, it's been like uh three weeks or a month that I actually uh didn't uh sculpt much, so um uh, Yep, feels good. Absolutely feels good. Hey, Cassart. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I just realized how silent I am today, actually. I'm just, like, so happy to have, um, to find that focus again, I guess. Ah, uh, the jokes, the jokes. Don't, yeah, yeah. I think they'll come naturally. I just have to, uh, you just have to believe in them and, and they'll come. <laughs>
if I so uh, I'm gonna repeat it once again. Uh, I really wish that ZBrush had local, a uh, true local symmetry, so I could work on this piece uh, in symmetry without having to do like both sides at the same time. It's such a such a waste of time and. Um, I don't know if there's anybody, uh, if they're going to reprogram anything with like the Maxon acquisition, I would, uh, I, I would not, uh, be, um, unpleased if they were to actually fix this. I hate sculpting on an empty stomach. <laughs> I agree. As an EVA fan, do you understand fully what it's trying to say? I'm confused by every, every time I watch it. Uh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they left it pretty open-ended, at least the original, um, the original series. Um, and I think that the meaning of Evangelion is, uh, it's pretty, um, pretty complex. Um, well, what I understand is that the real, um, the real, um, conflict is, uh, within the char the main character himself, Jinji. And it's actually um, its own struggle about uh, trusting people and opening himself to to people, and uh, believing in himself and all, all that all that uh, sort of stuff. So everything comes from his trauma, the trauma of being um, of losing his mother and being abandoned by his father, his father uh, believing that the saving the world is more important than taking care of his child and that sort of stuff. And, um, he actually has friends that come along the way, but he, since he has a bend, bend, a bend, bend issue, basically, as far as I remember, he's kind of like always afraid, like he, he doesn't want to really like trust them because they could leave him at some point. So it's hard to open himself to them. And at the very, very, very end of the series, he's been given the choice to unify everybody as a single being in the life soup or to restart the world and have everybody be separated uh, with all the uh, problems that it causes, problems, but also liberty that it causes. Um, this is pretty much like what I remember from uh, the series in terms of like its message, its uh, that sort of stuff. So basically like the idea is like, is it better, would it, would it be better to get rid of individuality because individuality also brings uh, war, struggle, hatred, um, 
although it also brings all the good stuff like love and this and that or whatever so yeah that's kind of like what i uh i understand from the uh from the series it's probably much deeper than that but uh yeah, that's what I make of it. <laughs> Comfort as brush stay for the Eva that talk. <laughs> yeah, um but I've I watched that like so long ago that um like don't don't quote me on anything uh Eva related. I might actually be extremely uh off target also. Plus, also, this is like mainly just like my own interpretation of things, or maybe even like this stuff I read on the internet. Uh, but I remember reading that, reading about that like way, like long ago. I think that like the series was like newly finished. The books were not even finished. I don't even know if the books are finished. I kind of like stopped collecting them, like when they got to. Uh, the, 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 the later, uh, books, I was already out of my, um, my comic book phase. So, um, yeah, like, I mean, I say that, but I still later collected all the, uh, the Berserk before, uh, yeah, before it was actually done. But yeah, no, the, the, uh. The Evangelion, I am. Um, I didn't read all the book actually. As far as I know, they made it pretty much similar to the uh, the first series. I had to read on the internet to understand something. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what happens when you actually have like um, shows that have um, 
like much deeper meaning and they don't like force feed you everything and they leave let you like kind of like decide it, it does it not decide but like kind of like read what you want to read into like the endings or the explanations it opens it up to like to discussion to the community and everything and in a part i actually really enjoy seeing that um although i'm not like necessarily somebody that's going to actually like necessarily participate that much in the conversation and everything i just really love to like the open-endedness of things and just let it my my mind kind of like figure out or like wonder what it is actually you know what it's kind of like the same that i do with uh foreign foreign um foreign language uh music like um like an, a simple one to explain would be um um uh rammstein like i I I listen to that uh, like uh, often. It's it's a band I really like, and uh, I very rarely check what the lyrics uh, mean. But uh, from like little words that I catch here and there and that I understand, I kind of like make my own um, interpretation of what things mean. And uh, I don't know, it's fun. I like doing that. And then later I, I realize what it means and I'm like, ah, okay, I prefer in mine. Because <laughs> especially like the, the, their video clips are so cool that I always think that it's like, ah, oh, you must be like crazy deep and whatever. And often it's like, no, it's pretty fucking simple what it means. All right, let's um, make this orthograph, uh, like make this symmetrical and then replace it. Scott West. Ah ouais, Marco, montre-nous tes bonhommes en arrière. Jamais. Jamais! Yeah, I also do that. Good example. <laughs> yeah. And now I don't like Stager. There's just like a little thing off about it. And often it loses. It's, uh... It's lose, it loses like its configuration and uh, it just ends up pissing me off more than anything. So, um, nope, I prefer my little technique. Does that look straight on the leg? Yeah, pretty much. Looks good. Hey, thanks for the follow. Now let's put the pants back. Let's see if it works with the pants.
Yeah, like uh, Michael says, it's uh, really finicky in that uh, in that sense, and um, it's enough to piss me off. So I think I'm gonna add like a um, letter thing, maybe uh, under this piece of armor, kind of like to justify that like this whole thing is holding on something.
All right. I find the knife curve lasso brushes a tad unstable. Oh, a tad. Hey. It's, uh, yeah. It's like crashing every fucking second. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's very unstable, unfortunately. All right. So, how are the silhouette, general silhouette shapes of this? I think I'm really going to know. I'm going to pose the all of this. Probably next stream. Yeah, probably next stream because... Um, Yep. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I think it's a bit better if I just exaggerate a bit of those shapes here.
Hey. Do we have a sub here? Offline MTG. Thanks for the sub. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Thank you for your encouragement. It's always appreciated. Always appreciated. All right. Cool. I think um, maybe one last thing I can do for this uh, for this stream is just block the shape of the sword real quick. I was about the length. He's looking awesome. Looking forward to seeing him pose next stream. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Offline MTG, thanks for the love. Much appreciated. All right, so let's put the sword in the middle. So this is like a broken sword here, so it's gonna look cool. The idea of the sword for him is pretty much taken from the uh, sword from uh, Blague in Elden Ring, because it does look like this uh, the the super huge. Uh, Mazamoon from uh, Chrono Trigger. Ooh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Ah, come on, dude. All right, there we go.
Come on, dude. Hmm. Ok, ok, ok.
Yeah, okay, so I think it's, uh, I have a good feeling this one is going to look cool. I'm not, like, bragging or anything or whatever, I just have a good feeling. So, having a good feeling is always a good thing.
All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I think uh, yeah, I think now it's going to be the blocking for the sword. Pretty much all the shapes are there. It'll just be missing the uh, the medium medium level shapes and uh, details. Destroying the front part as well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, it's pretty much the sword. What I like to do sometimes is just do a merge visible so I get everything in one piece. I'll get my character to reappear. I'll insert the sword in there. And the side of that sword is a bit extreme, so <laughs> without the proper uh, posing, maybe it's going to look just uh, off. Uh, boy. All right, do we have everything? Huh, shoulder pad, check. Gauntlet, check. Gloves, check. Bandages, check. Cloak, check. <laughs> 